Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'da ila habitafillah Continuing on in our study of advice for the student of knowledge by Shaykh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab al-Wasabi Hafizullah Ta'ala We reached a portion of the treaties where the Shaykh said uh, the eighth point as far as the eighth piece, piece of advice that the Shaykh offered, which was striving to sit in the gatherings of righteous and the people of benefit. And Imam Nawawi, rahimahullah ta'ala, has a tremendous benefit if you go back to Riyadh al Salihin and the Ahadith in reference referring to the importance of being in the company of the Salihin and, and the manners for doing so and, and so forth. And so this is absolutely imperative that you surround yourself with good company. And likewise, which refers back to what we already, the previous uh, advice the Sheikh gave, is also being cautious who you take your knowledge. Because in, in fact, with the world community of the internet, and with our persistent use of it, and listening, and listening to lectures, listening to people we don't even know, we don't know anything about their knowledge, and we end up taking them as uh, companions in a sense. So it's very important Islamically that you know who, who you are uh, sitting with and to benefit and be in the gatherings of the righteous. And the reason I, I make a point of this because as we see with the crisis of ISIS, or ISIL, or whatever you want to call them, the deviant group that is corrupting the girls and corrupting young men to go to Syria and Iraq and places like this to die or to destroy or to kill in the name of establishing a Khalifa, in the name of establishing Islam, in the name of making Hijra, in the name of getting married, whatever the case may be in which they try to corrupt the people, but the evidence is coming out as Allah is slowly uh, exposing them more and more. Although it's been known to the scholars of Ahl Sunnah, but more and more people throughout the world are are becoming aware of the sham that these people are, are putting uh, forward to the world and the farce. And how is this relevant to our discussion? Because in fact, people take them as sort of like companions, listening to them communicating with young men uh, who are enticing them, telling them they're going to have beautiful lives and, and be comforted. But in fact, they're calling them to corruption and facade. The Sheikh said, Habit Allah Ta'ala, he said, Allah the glorified and most magnificent said to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, restrain yourself with those who call on their Lord morning and evening, desiring his goodwill. And let not your eyes pass from them, desiring the beauties of this world's life, and do not follow him whose heart we have made unmindful to our remembrance, and he follows his low desires, and his case is one in which due bounds are exceeded. This lets us know, this is evidence, the Sheikh uses this as evidence to show the importance of righteous companionship, righteous company. And... In my personal experience, some of the best companionship that I found as far as full benefit is sitting with the ulama, sitting with the scholars. And yesterday, min I had the privilege of going to a lecture. Uh, one of the Hayat al-Kibar ulama, one of the, uh, com the members of the committee of the major scholars here in Saudi Arabia, Sheikh uh, Abdullah Al Mutlaq. And it was a very beneficial reminder in watching the Sheikh, although it wasn't personal company, but being in that gathering of ilm and hearing his reminder and seeing how he dealt with the questions and dealt with the people was an illustration of uh, righteous companionship and in righteous and good gatherings where you can gain benefit. So the best benefit that you can gain as far as companionship is trying to be in, in the, the circles of dhikr, the places where Allah is mentioned often, the lectures, the durus, the, the uh, study of books and texts, Islamic texts, 
and study of Kitab Allah wa Sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the Madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah. Those kind of gatherings are the gatherings of righteous and the gatherings of great benefit and the gatherings where you can receive guidance. And the glorified Almighty said, and the day when the unjust one shall bite his hand saying, oh, would that I had taken a way with the apostle. Oh, woe is me. Would that I had not taken such a one for a friend. Certainly he led me astray from the reminder after it had come to me. And the shaitan fails to aid man. It was mentioned in the Sahihain that Abu Musa al-Ash'ari radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the similitude of the righteous gathering and the evil gathering is like the one who carries misk and the blacksmith. The one who handles misk would either offer you some free of charge or you would buy it from him or you smell its pleasant fragrance and as for the blacksmith, he either burns your clothes or you smell a repugnant smell. So this lets us know that Prophet Sallallahu made this likeness to let us know the importance of having good companionship because good companionship leaves something good with you as the one who sells misk leaves a good smell with you. And contrary to that is the one, uh, the bad companion. The bad companion is like when you work around a, a blacksmith or when you work around someone who does work, uh, maybe working with sewage or what have you, that they leave this behind with you. You, you find a, a foul smell with them. And perhaps that smell will... Uh, carry over onto your your garments or yourself so that it leaves something unpleasant with you. And likewise, the unrighteous companionship is like this. Why? Because unrighteous companionship will leave you with something that you will feel darkness in your heart. Maybe they leave you with corruption. Maybe they leave you with something on how to look up pornography or how to uh, kill people and be become an extremist. Or maybe they leave you with how to do some evil act of some sort, but in, instead of leaving you with something good. So they do leave something with you, but it's something evil and something that won't, will not benefit you. Then the Sheikh said, moreover, I advise you to be far away from the innovative partisanship, Hezbiya, uh, the Mubtadiyah, and those innovative groups like Akhwana Muslimin, Jamaat Tabliq, Jamaat Al-Jihad, and ignorant imbeciles, you should strive to sit in the gatherings of the people of knowledge from Ahl Sunnah and seek their counsel about new issues. And we'll end there and continue on in the next sitting. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from kulli su wa makru. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.